Welcome to another hobby update, the hair of Hobby Lad. So, you may have uh, noticed that I haven't uploaded for about a month now, which is with work and stuff like that, I find it difficult to make a video. It's far easier for me to do it via Instagram and stuff like that. So, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see more work in progress, and there will be occasional videos, but it won't be as consistent as Instagram is. So, I've just got back into uh, bolt action. You may have noticed if you look on my Instagram, my hair of Tubby Lad. So we'll just have a look, quick look at some of my uh, bolt action models. So we'll start off with some models from a year or two back. I did a British Power Shoot Regiment Force, but that got scrapped for various different reasons. But I did manage to keep some British Army snipers in ghillie suits, which you can see there. So if you know your military and stuff like that, ghillie suit snipers add foliage to their suit to blend in more, make it less chance of them being seen. So I just added a bit of flock to the ghillie suits after I painted them up. And I thought, yeah, they look quite nice actually, they look like that. And they're both the same model. I like the posed, and I liked the idea that they're just figuring out a way, they're just waiting for a shot, or they're just waiting to move. So what's next? So it's just a couple of um, gaming eight stuff. So you got that, which it was just an evening. I had nothing really on my painting table to paint, and then I rummaged through some bits box, found that, started painting up again. So you got that. And then, same thing, rummaging through the bits box, came across this, which I a little objective marker I decided to make for the powers I'd doing. Put it to one side, totally forgot about it until I was rummaging through a bits box, came across it, and decided to paint him up. And then add these little bits of paper, bits of writing on and stuff like that. That was hair easy to say the least. Try to um, paint the writing on them. It was a bit, you know, oh well. But that's him done. It's just like that. So the idea behind this was some German officer got shot. And then it's the German forces or whatever forces are trying to get them. There's a mission where you got to try and get to this objective and take away the, like, the vital information and stuff like that. So that's what the, rep, the papers represent and everything. So I can imagine a British force coming up, trying to pinch it back and then get back to their own lines. Or there's a German force coming in, have to retrieve the important documents that they don't want the British army or the Allies army to uh, reveal their dastardly deeds and evil plans. So what's next? I painted up a Triarch, a light tank Triarch. I, I don't know the exact details, I'm not I haven't got the book in front of me, but there you go. So the force I'm doing at the moment is the Herefordshire Infantry Battalion during World War Two. I think it's the first battalion. I'm not 100. Sorry about this. I should be more prepared, but meh. Um, so that's their number in the column. It's 63. I think it was 163. Part of the Ninth Armoured Division was their number was 63. So that denotes the Hereford Regiment. Yes, they didn't have a Triarch, and it wasn't a main battle tank. But I like the little tank. It's cool and it's my game, so <laughs> I can add it if I wanted to. Next up, I painted a MMG carrier. There we are. So it's a universal character, what's been modded to include the MMG, medium machine gun for the British forces. So now you've got four crew, you've got a driver, navigator, commander, sort of chappy. You've got your little loader there, and then you've got your actual guy with the firing the weapon. And then you've got Various bits of stowage, like backpacks, ammunition tins, a piet, a tripod. And then you got radio equipment. And then all manner of things. So yeah, added some little decals to it. And then on the back there. The MMG carrier was a previous model I had in my previous British force. Which I had to get rid of because money was hard at the time and stuff like that. So I sold a lot of models. Sadly, I got, had to get rid of my bolt action collection. And... Now I'm just rebuying the models that I loved, such as the Cromwell in Burlap. So you'll know if you follow me on Instagram, this is Oliver the Cromwell tank in Burlap Camo from Warlord Games. So yeah, there he is. Added some nice little decals there and there. Had to cut some off to get underneath the Burlap Camo. That's just him around there. There we go. So it's the same as the little star on top, and it's the same as on the turret there. That was just for passing aircraft to designate this, that this is a allied vehicle, please don't shoot us. Even though sometimes it did happen, friendly fire incidents and stuff like that, and then there you go. 
So you've got nice muddy tracks, some camo all over the place. It's far more interesting, I think, than the plastic Cromwell tank. And plus it's nice and weighty. So yeah, that's that. A bolt action. Next. Oh, literally have just finished him. We'll get into focus. There we are. So it's just a Ford operator. I've painted this model a couple of times. Various different ones. I did one for the initial British Force, then I did one for the Parachute Regiment, and now I'm doing one for the Hereford Regiment. So there's him with his little backpack. So these aerials, guys, here, and on the back of the Cromwell, and on the back of Tommy the Tetriarch. These are just yard brushes, bristles. Yard brushes, yard brush, bristle. <laughs> yard brush, plastic br bristles. There you go. I can get there eventually. So. They, they are quite rigid and they are quite flexible at the same time. So if you, when you're transporting them and everything, you can pop them in this little slot in your carry case and they'll bend, but they won't break ish as long as you're gentle with them and stuff. So that's my bolt action force at the moment. I will be adding to the force um, to bring it up to 500 points. That won't be included in 500 points. That's the next points upgrade. So I'm just waiting for, you may have seen on all of games website, there is a new plastic British infantry set coming out which I can't wait for because some of the old sculpts were a bit of the British infantry it was a bit fiddly so I'm just waiting for that to come up maybe three units of six riflemen with a HQ with an accompany man a light mortar and three units of six riflemen make use of that rapid fire rule you get in the British army book so that's bolt action um, I'll upload another video of my other hobby I'm doing in a moment thank you very much guys keep safe have a good one see you on the next one